According to data from the U.S. government information on organ donation and transplantation, as of March 2020, there are more than 112,000 people on the U.S. national organ transplant waiting list. Every 10 minutes, another person is added to this list. So imagine if you could get an organ made for you, from your own cells. Well, researchers created a functioning mini-human liver and successfully transplanted it into rats. Here is what we know. According to a report published in Cell Reports, experts from the University of Pittsburgh successfully developed and transplanted functioning human mini-livers into rats. Scientists created the mini-livers by using human skin cells and then reverting them into a stem cell state. These cells are called induced pluripotent stem cells and other types of cells can derive from them. They then used chemicals and hormones to induce differentiation. This pushed the induced pluripotent stem cells into becoming liver cells. The newly created liver cells were then seeded on mini-liver bioreactors. The lab-grown livers were then transplanted into five immunosuppressed mice, or mice whose immune system would be less likely to reject the organ. Four days after the transplant, the mice were dissected in order to examine how well the implanted organ functioned. After dissecting the rats, researchers found all five rats had blood circulation issues around the graft of the mini-liver. However, the rats had human liver proteins in their blood serum, indicating that the livers were working properly. Speaking of the importance of organ transplants, could drones be the answer? This is the first time drone technology has been used to deliver a kidney for a patient. According to a University of Maryland news release, researchers have successfully used an unmanned drone system to deliver a donor kidney. The drone was able to fly a kidney about 4.5 kilometers from a location in southwest Baltimore to a surgical team at the Medical Center of the University of Maryland. The kidney was kept in a cargo compartment, which was sealed while in the air. It is called HOMAL, or Human Organ Monitoring Quality Assurance Apparatus, for long-distance travel. The cargo box was able to maintain its own temperature while being able to track the altitude and GPS coordinates. This data was transmitted in real time through the surgical team's smartphones. According to the New York Times, this was so that the doctors could make sure the kidney was still viable, as organs tend to become less and less healthy as soon as they are removed from a donor. The newspaper reports the kidney was then successfully transplanted into a 44-year-old woman named Trina Glipsy in Baltimore. These other rats over here are even more impressive. Up to 4% of their body is made of human cells. Mad scientists made a step toward perfecting human mice chimeras. Scientists have engineered mice that have up to 4% of their body made of human cells, or the highest amount achieved in human mice chimeras, according to a study in Science Advances. To create the chimeras, scientists took human stem cells and chemically suppressed a protein called mTOR for three hours. This forces the cells to revert back to the naive state, which enables them to grow inside mice embryos. As the embryos matured, researchers found the tissues that would become the heart, liver, and bone marrow to contain human cells, which were also found in the blood. Science News reports the technology may help scientists to use chimeras as a source for human organs. Scientists did not detect any trace of human material in the cells that would develop into my sperm or egg. This eliminates ethical concerns of chimeras capable of reproduction. But why For not more make news a animations and spider explainers, human hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.